So, shall we oh, turn yeah. to... I think we're right in the middle, Kate. OK. Um, Let's keep going. We'll bury the aristocracy and keep going. Here we are. National Guardsmen defecating on members of the aristocracy. <laughs> Paul, no. I think volume one was the volume that you well, um, were cataloguing um, for Wadston Manor. That, that's right, Kate. And uh, this is one of the more complicated prints in this volume, but it's also a lot of fun because it's dealing with several different subjects. Um, it's clearly quite striking, especially the fact that it's a scatological print dealing with um, a National Guardsman defecating on uh, the two first, uh, the first and second estates, which is the clergyman and the aristocrat, who are seen here um, bathing in a kind of open sewer, which was quite common for Paris at the um, end of the 18th century. But the uh, print uses lots of different visual um, jokes, metaphors, and language to um, get across its ideas. So while we have the major image of the clergyman defecating, um, which brings up the crisis of the three estates, um, the clergyman representing the third estate here, defecating on the two higher estates, which were seen as the ruling parties. We have another commoner over here to the right, obviously applauding uh, what the clergyman's doing. Um, he, wears an, he wears the national cockade, which um, was a symbol of the tree colour, red, white and blue, um, to show that you're a revolutionary. But also below him, we have these different symbols of dead animals, namely a dead hare and a dead bird, which came to represent the um, abolition of feudal privileges on the 4th of August, 1789. In the background here, though, we have a whole bunch of different things. Um, so, Rue de la Liberté, then again, revolutionary language. Um, and also, we have flyers up on the different walls. We have one over here, which is advertising the sale of... Um, Church property, yes, church property. So at the time of the revolution, um, new rules came in that um, the churches were nationalized and this property was confiscated, such as bells melted down to um, help with the war effort and whatnot. But in the background as well, the flyers of uh, these four heads are quite fun. And these were all um, victims during the time of the storming of the Bastille. So you have Delaunay, who was the old governor of the Bastille, who was dragged out to the Place de Greve in the center of Paris, where he was massacred by the crowd. I think it was by a baker, maybe, who mm -hmm. stabbed him to death and then they lobbed off his head. Uh, another two here, um, Foulon and Berthier, um, that, was a, that was a godfather and his godson who were brought in from the countryside and, um, well, taken through the streets of Paris before having their heads lobbed off as well after being hanged on the Place de Greve. And another man here, Favras, who was um, shot on the steps of the Hotel de Ville on the way to the Bastille as the crowd was marching past. But um, all of their heads appear in the background, each put on pikes, which was, well, it kind of became a revolutionary symbol. The heads on pikes were a thing to be seen. Um, one of them especially, their letters, um, the letters of their initials underneath each head indicates who they were. Uh, one particularly interesting one is uh, head which has had its mouth stuffed full of straw um, and this was Berthier who allegedly had said that if the people couldn't well find enough food to eat they may as well eat grass so at the time he was executed um, or murdered moreover um, they shoved a cap uh, they shoved straw in his decapitated head and then uh, paraded his head round on a spike through the streets of Paris. Mm -hmm. 